Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we're going to use our CNC router to make custom pill counters. Before any major project that we do here in the shop at cncri.com using our industrial CNC router, we flatten the table. The reason for flattening the table is twofold. Number one, we want to make sure the table is flat. The table surface is MDF and MDF does like to suck in humidity and it does like to unflatten itself over time. And the other reason that we do that is because there's lots of cut lines and other sort of things that build up over the table itself that when we flatten it we have a completely smooth surface. And that helps a lot with our vacuum system which sucks the material down. Once we have a flat surface, the next step is actually to flatten the wood that we're going to use for this project. In this case here, they're pill counters, so what you do is you drop all your pills on here, and then you can separate them one by one to put them inside of a jar or whatever else you want to use. Now this lumber here is real wood, and as such it was warped and it had some issues. So the next step is actually just to plane the wood, and what that does is clean the wood surfaces on both sides, but also flatten it to the extent that our, then our vacuum system could take over and suck it right down onto the table bed. That's important because when we're doing some work along the edges that you see here, we're using many different bits. One bit here is rounding the edge, and it's a little bit hard to see in the video, but there's some rounding here, and then there's another bit that we use for the clearance of the overall pill counter surface. behind me is our industrial router that we use for all of our routing jobs and it's a Shopa PRS Alpha. The important thing about this router is that it's a self-correcting router. What it means is that let's just say um, it's doing something on the surface here and it bumps into something. It realizes that it bumped into something and it self-corrects itself so that it can continue doing the job without spoiling the whole project that we do on our surface. Now you might think that's not a big deal but it actually really is. Let's say we're making, I don't know, let's say we're making 50 of these things here. And right at the beginning here, for whatever reason, uh, something goes out of alignment. Um, it, it could literally be anything. And what would happen is that we would do the whole project, and then we find out we're out of alignment, and everything that we made was scrap. Now, because it's self-correcting, the one, only one piece of scrap that we make is the initial one, because then it goes, oh, okay, I bumped, go back to where I'm supposed to be, and do all the other units perfectly as they should be.
when it comes to optimizing processes here in the shop, there's a lot of ways of doing the same thing. What I really like about my company is that there's options all throughout as to how much I want to work or how much I don't want to work on a project. Now this is a great case study as to what we can do here in the shop. Now of course we can make them any shape, any size because we're working on on-demand production style. And what that means is that let's say you wanted 10 of these pill counters here uh, to be exactly like this and you want another 10 to be let's say 20% smaller and another 10 to be maybe 50% bigger for some reason. We can do that all in one shot here in the shop for you. Now one of the disadvantages of doing that is sometimes when we send files to our customers they have a tough time visualizing how it all comes together. So these videos demonstrations give you an idea of our process here in the shop and extra steps that we sometimes do and sometimes steps you know I don't do. doing a production run of a hundred of these things here I would not go to the bandsaw and as a result have to go to the sander to make all the edges flush I can use the router itself to cut everything totally flush right off the bat but it's fun to use different tools here in the shop so I figured I would do that that's also the reason why when you saw the router cutting out the area here it was really really messy because I kept the dust collector off and the reason for that is just for aesthetics when I'm filming otherwise when I do a production there's very little sawdust anywhere in the shop and the extra two steps that you just saw, one was the bandsaw and the upcoming one which is sanding aren't needed at all. So if you have a custom woodworking project, whether it's one unit or a thousand units, contact me at cncri.com and we'll make it for you.